Well, everything's ready. You got the tools ready. The rear wheel is already, the lug nuts are already loose. So it's time to lay it down. I've got a couple of pieces, a couple of rugs here to uh, put the guards on. And so now the time is to suck it up and lay it down. First thing, you're going to take it off the center fan. Put it over on the kickstand. Come over on this side. We're going to do just the reverse of what Paul taught us for uh, picking it up. Put her butt on the seat and lay it down. There it is. Wasn't too hard. Next thing I do is got to lever up the rear wheel. Okay, next thing we have to do is get the rear tire up off the pavement a little bit so we can slide everything out. And I grasp the creek stand and the center stand. Pull up just a little bit. Extend the center stand. And that's going to get everything up off the ground so that we can take the lug nuts off take the wheel off. I get my gloves and I'll do that. Now as I said I've already loosened up the lug nuts so this should go pretty easy. I like to wear uh, latex gloves when I'm getting around something that's dirty just to keep from getting so badly stained in my skin. I worry about that if I was working as a mechanic full time. These are 19 millimeter. Uh, I'm going to use. I'm using a deep well on it right now. I broke them free with a, a regular one with an extension, but I think I'm going to go back in with the deep well. Just uh, seems to be a little more comfortable on them. And I've got a half inch torque wrench over here, just a Harbor Freight half inch torque wrench, so I can torque them back. Once you get them all on and get it back upright, get somebody holding the brakes for me. Okay, all the lug nuts off, rear tire off, not much trouble. Of course, everybody's going to worry about how hard it is to go back on again and pick it back up, that's really no trouble. Take a quick look at everything in here. Make sure everything looks kosher. Disc looks normal. Studs look good. It's all pretty clean in here. The reason I'm changing out is I had a Shinko rear on and a Shinko front. And the Shinko front failed on me. It delaminated quite a bit. Built some big blisters, so I'm kind of afraid of Shinkos now. So I'm going to go back with a D250. It's on this track takeoff. I'm going to take my powder coated wheel down and have a Bridgestone that I got from Hal mounted up on it. I already had the Bridgestones when the delamination happened. Okay. Wheels on. I'm not going to lubricate these lugs anymore because they look real good and I can still see a little bit of my anti seize still in them. And I use an anti seize compound called Neolu. I'm pretty sparing with it because it can be a little bit too slick. It's nothing but graphite and isopropyl alcohol. Honestly, I think. As long as they're not rusted, dry is okay. But I think probably the best for these is going to be just motor oil. Just drop or two of motor oil. But I still see anti seize on these, so I'm going to leave them like they are. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing changing the tires on your car, 
for goodness sakes, don't change a motorcycle tire. But for the rear wheel on a gold wing, if you don't mind changing the tires on your car or truck, this should be no problem for you. What I'm going to do is use this as a ratchet just to get a quick snug up on these things so I can set it upright. Obviously, you wouldn't want to ride with it like this, but they're snugged up sufficiently to set it up. Right. There they are all snugged up, and now time to do what probably a lot of you are afraid of, and that's the pickup. I'm going to put center stand back up. We're back on our wheels. I'll move the camera. Now I want you all to know I'm probably your original 197 pound weekly, but I don't think I'm going to have any trouble at all picking this bike up. We'll see. Stand is already out on the other side. Looks like she licked a little gas because I filled her up. She didn't leak much though. But folks, that's all there is to it.